Is it time for spring cleaning in your life? This is Tammy C. Walker, the owner of Dreams Are A Reality. I created this channel to provide light and love. How you all doing? I haven't gotten to talk to you all. I think I told you I was changing apartments in the complex where I live. I now have my own office space um, away from my living room and dining room. In my other apartment, I was doing a lot of work on my dining room table and that's a no-no. If you are working remote, try to like, you know, separate your work from your, you know, your dining room and your living room. Give yourself a break because it's almost like that's how you become a workaholic. You're working all the time. So I am so grateful to have this office so I can close my door and separate myself out. It's really nice. That's where I'm at now, recording this because my furnace is kind of it blows and I can tell when I'm recording this, it's giving like a feedback. I don't like that. Anywho, hope you all are good. I am good. I'm doing spring cleaning over here. Moving has exposed me <laughs> in, the, in the worst kind of way. I have a lot of books. Like when I went to grad school, I have clothes I haven't worn in years. And all of my boxes mostly say kitchen that I haven't opened. So what is in those boxes? I'm almost scared to open them. But it's let me know that I have too much stuff. So I have three categories, giveaway, throwaway, and I have a storage unit. So store away. So I'll be going there within the next uh, few days for sure to put some stuff away. Ah, so what about you? In your home, is it time for spring cleaning? Can you get rid of some things you haven't worn? Do you have a lot of books like me that you can possibly donate to the library? I'm taking a little goodwill or the library, either or. Do you have things that you could store away? Or maybe somebody have, they're getting a new apartment or a new home and they need things. You can give stuff away if you're not using it. It's a lot you can do. But spring cleaning doesn't only have to be physically. It could be mental cleaning. Do you have some toxic relationships that you can, you know, kind of sever ties with or do the slow fade? You don't have to always cut people off, but you can distance yourself. Or what do they say? Treat them with a long handle spoon. Recently, I was asked, um, do I watch um, the maybe Housewives of Potomac or some other programs? Um, I used to be a big Atlanta Housewife watcher. I even started enjoying um, Love of Mary Huntsville when it first came out because it was like African American couples buying property in Huntsville, Alabama. I thought it was a positive endeavor. Um, kind of took a turn <laughs> to a little bit of negativity. I don't I don't watch those shows. I don't watch the Potomac unless I went over my niece's house. We used to watch a little. Like you're getting your hair done. That's kind of a good time for um what do they call that kind of TV? I don't know. Shoot, train wreck is what it, it, it ends up being for some of those shows. And it kind of pulls you away from your life. But overall, I don't like to watch those shows over and over. It's enough negativity. If you jump on your computer and look at Yahoo News. Um, I work in an elementary school. Um, it's okay, but it's some negativity. You know, in some of these school systems. Because teachers, they're burnt out. And so you just got to watch you just got to watch all this stuff. That's just me. That's just me, how I roll. But what about you? Um, how do you move through your day, through your week? Are you doing a spring cleaning on your mind? Recently, my dental office called. I haven't been, I haven't been there in a few months. Time for spring cleaning. And that's one thing I'm going to get done. I had my mammogram Friday. Clear, clear, clear as a whistle. Thank you, God. You all that follow me know I'm a two-time breast cancer survivor. Even if I wasn't, it's important to have a clear mammogram. I am concerned because when I go to the hospital since March 2020, I'm not seeing a lot of women getting their mammograms. So if you are, you know, 35 and older, I think, it's, I think they dropped it to 35. It used to be 40. I'm just speculating, but I think it's 35. Please still get your mammogram, even, you know, due to COVID. Don't let that stop you. Mask up. Go in and get it done. You know the hospital is going to be extra safe with you. But don't, um, you know, negate getting a mammogram if that could, 
you know, early detection could save your life. So don't put that to the side over COVID. I, um, I also had my colonoscopy last year. So I'm just saying that to say spring cleaning for me is not only my apartment. It's also my body. It's my mind. I just got finished listening to Bill Winston sermon. It's an hour and something long. So I did 32 minutes of it. But ooh, it was, it, man, it really helped me. It really helped me. Um, I haven't been attending church. I will admit that. But I try to stay connected by um, listening to Tony Evans. And then I like Bill Winston as well. Um, and I have my books that I read as well as the Bible. But you have to do that, you know. Uh, spring cleaning is mental cleaning. It's so easy to get downtrodden. It's so easy to get negative. It's easy to get anxious. And when you're anxious, you start overthinking. You start second guessing. I do it. I do it, you all. Like, um, uh, how can I say this? I'm just going to switch gears, but it kind of still pertains to what I just said. As a therapist, when new clients or you know when somebody tries to get a family member to go to therapy their kickback would be why should i go she got problems too the therapist got problems too she can't tell me nothing honey baby they don't know how right they are we do have problems um i never try to come off like i got it together i was in therapy in 1998 when i was getting ready to go through my divorce and i've been going off and on ever since i have a therapist right now if you are thinking of going to therapy, if you feel comfortable, when you're kind of trying them out, maybe ask the therapist, hey, let me ask you something. Hope, and, hope I'm not being too forward. Do you have a therapist? Because mental health, the need is so high. We can make a lot of money right now, therapists. There are therapists burning themselves out by doing 30 clients a week, which is a lot. A lot. And let me tell you all what happens. If you're a good clinician, as you talk to these clients, you can take in what's the, what's going on. Somebody lost a baby. Somebody's grieving. Somebody's going to go through a divorce. That stuff jumps on you. You know, you got to know how to handle all of that. 30 people with 30 different stories. That's a lot. And it really starts tapping into your brain and you start forgetting things. And I know that for a fact with me, and I know that for a fact with somebody I used to see years ago. She told me that she had a heavy, heavy clientele, very top-notch therapist, very heavy clientele, and it caused, you know, start she started losing her memory. So um, this this is not for pain at heart, and it's not a money chase. We really have to take care of ourselves as clinicians and therapists. And we need to do spring cleanings for ourselves. Take that time I get you a massage. Get a facial. I didn't think I was going to like facials that much. I had a facial and massage at the same time. And the facial was way better. Very soothing. Um, whatever you can do. You know, 10-minute meditation. I always tell people, put the earbuds in. Do your 10-minute meditation. They even have some nice 5-minute meditations. Spring clean your mind. Take care of your body and your space where you live. Keep it clutter, cluttered free because that helps the mind flow very well. Um, people always talk about dating and, you know, are you married again, dating? They don't understand how I feel. I'm very protective of my space. I just don't have a lot of time for a lot of riffraff. Um I'm not saying these guys out here are that, but I'm just, you know, a little bit hesitant at times. Um, I don't know. I'm in a weird place, too. It's, it's like I'm in this place where I'm kind of being selfish. You know how you just want to take care of yourself and, and get some things in place for myself. I'm really, like, right now my mindset keeps going back to retirement because of my age, going on 53. I really need to make sure my stuff is solid. So that's kind of where my focus been. Uh, everything been about me. I'm just thinking about me right now. And it feels damn good. Ain't that what Lizzo said? All right, okay. It's about damn time. <laughs> that's how I'm feeling right now. Um, but sometimes you just got to be selfish and love on yourself. 
and spring clean yourself. Okay, you guys, I am headed to a meeting this morning with other counselors and upper management. Nothing, nothing as heavy as it sounds. It's kind of lighthearted. We do these meetings every every other month, I do believe. We have one in December, so that's right. But um, have a beautiful, beautiful weekend. I think I do get to talk to Pandy. I'm doing an interview, so I'm too excited about that. She is such a sweetheart. And her channel is amazing. Thank you all for the likes, for the shares. I'm sorry I've been away. I've been trying to unpack my apartment in the words of Ian Levanzan. I've been trying to fix my life over here, you all. God bless you all. Bye-bye.